Hello and welcome to another episode of Suburban Hunt 365. I am DJ and in this episode we'll be continuing on with our muzzleloader series here on this channel. This particular video has come highly recommended or highly requested rather uh, from several guys in the comment section. It is going to be the triple seven magnum pellets if I can get that to focus in on there. 120 grain charge so we'll be using two pellets for these tests. So, So in this test, we're going to be using the same six projectiles that we've been using, but we're also going to be adding the Hornady ELDXs, and we're going to be using the group that we got last week from the SSTs to get our average at the end of the video. So just real quick to go over the ones that we've been using for a while now, but if you haven't, these are the ones we use. We've got 245 grain power belt coppers, 250 grain power belt aero lights, 295 grain power belt coppers, 330 grain ELRs by power belt, the Federal Borlock 270 grains. Next is going to be the Hornady Board Driver FTXs coming in at 290 grains. Uh, then the Board Driver ELDXs at 340 grains. And as I mentioned, we'll be using the Hornady SST 300 grain uh, that we got last week's video. So again, we are going to be using the 209A primers by Federal and two pellets of 777 Magnums. So let's go ahead and get right into it. 245 grain power belt coppers. Alright, first off guys, I want to apologize for the shakiness of this. We actually did film this on a somewhat windy day. The wind was going from my back to the front, so it really shouldn't affect side to side as far as the groups go. Uh, but however, it did affect my camera. So I apologize for that, and there wasn't a whole lot that I could do because I, I didn't notice that on the scope that I was using uh, until I got here and, and started doing my editing. So for that, I do apologize. But as you can see up here, there's your group, nice and steady for you in a steel shot. Uh, that group came in at two and seven eighths of an inch, so just under three inches there for the 245 grains. So not an awesome start, but not a bad start either. That's right about average, I would say, as far as our pellet groups go. So let's go ahead and let's keep going. Let's move up to the 250 grain arrow lights. All right, there again, sorry about the shakiness. That one came in at two inches. So we're getting better. 245 is at two and seven eighths. Now we got a two inch group with the 250 grain arrow lights. Again, my gun is always shot a little bit better with the heavier projectiles. So let's see if we can keep this going. Let's go ahead and see what the 295 grain coppers do. All right, well, that one actually came in at a three inch group. So, not awesome, not awesome. So, so far we're dealing with two, two and seven eighths in the three inch group. Um, not a whole lot of fireworks right now from the triple seven magnums. So, let's go ahead, let's finish up the, uh, the power belts with the 330 grain ELRs. All right, 330 grain ELR is coming in at two and five eighths of an inch. So, so far, our lead is the 250 grain arrow lights. So, again, not, not an awesome showing for the 777s thus far. So, let's see if we can't change it up. Federals haven't really been doing that good, but hey, we never know. Let's see what the Federals, boy like 270 grains. All right, so that group came in at three inches. That's what you're seeing there. So Federal Borlock coming in at three inches, uh, which is kind of on the high end for Federals. It's uh, not too great, not too great so far. So let's go ahead. We're gonna start getting into the Hornadies here, 
But what I want to touch base on real quick is the Hornady SST and 330 grain. Now you saw last week's video we tried to do some cleaning and to weigh the pellets to kind of see how that went down. And you saw how, if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check this that video out. Um, but going back even a week further, when I actually tested the SSTs, uh, this was the last group to go and we were talking about the fact that we had some flyers go off to the side. That one was actually the worst flyer, was that Hornady SST 300 grain and it came in at the four and three quarters of an inch. So without any other further ado, let's go ahead and let's get into the board driver FTX's 290 grain. All right, now we're talking. Hornady's bringing it back. Uh, so far, before this, our best group was with a 250 grain aerolizable power belt. This comes in at one and a half inches, is what we have with the 290 grain board driver FTXs. So, so far, Hornady's taking this lead. So, as I mentioned just a second ago, the SSTs had a four and three quarter inch group, and now we've got an inch and a half. So, Let's round this thing out. Let's see how the Hornady board driver ELDXs at 340 grains do. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Hornady ELDX is coming in at one and a quarter inch group. That is awesome. So Hornady board driver FTX is one and a half. ELDX is one and a quarter with the triple seven magnums. So I I would shoot either one of those. I, I really I probably will. Uh, for those of you that have suggested the triple seven magnums, I do appreciate that. I actually liked it because in my opinion it's kind of the 308, right? And to make that make sense, you have a 3030, a 308, and a 30 six. Okay, when you're running the hundred grains. It just doesn't quite feel, and this is all just perspective on me, it's my opinion. You know, they're kind of like buttholes. You know how the rest goes, right? We all got one and they all stink. But the 100 grains doesn't just, it just there's not enough power there. Will it work? Absolutely. Will, will kids be able to shoot it? Absolutely. But then you got the 150s that kicks like a 30 out 6, just blows your shoulder out. And, you know, with pellets, you really don't have an in between. Well, with triple seven magnums, you do have that in between. You've got the 100 grains over here, the 150s over here, and you got the 60 pellets right in the middle at 120 grains. So for it to give that kind of a group with those Hornadies without the brutal kick of the 150s, that's a win in my book. It really is a win in my book. Now, as you saw, it didn't really care for the power belts. And that's okay, because several of you in the comments don't care for the power belts either. But let's actually take a look at the chart. So looking at this chart here, you can see that with the numbers we got today, that group is coming in seventh place. There are 10 pellets that we've done so far, so it is seven out of 10 is where that's gonna land. And realistically, if it wasn't for Hornady, FTXs and the ELDXs coming in at the one and one half and the one and one quarter, you know, the next biggest group's two inches, all the way up to a four and three fourths of an inch group. So, uh, you know, triple seven magnums, maybe they work fantastic in your rifle, uh, but if it's not for the Hornadies, I, I, I really wouldn't be putting too much ahead of anything else as far as the powders go. Uh, they are kind of expensive. These, uh, this particular box was $35 and there's only 50 in here. Now granted, you are only using two, but they're kind of on the expensive side. But with the groups that I saw with the Hornadies, and not having to deal with the kick of the 150 grains, I think that would be a pretty good combo for me to use, uh, especially with the ELDXs, uh, to, to kind of push it out there, because I really don't, you know, you don't you know, want your shoulder to be bashed every time you pull the trigger. So I, I really kind of curious to see how those perform out the distance, two, possibly 300 yards. So uh, that, that would be with the combo of the 209A primers from Federal, the triple seven magnum two pellets and then the hornady eldx's all right guys if you're still with us at this point i really do appreciate you guys sticking around if you haven't already please do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button and then hit that like button and let the algorithm know that you appreciate this kind of content 
And please, by all means, go down those comment sections right there and let us know what you think about this video, about the patterns, about the groups that we got on these guys. And then let us know what you guys want to see. If there are certain things that you want us to test, by all means, we'll give it a shot. And I love hearing what you guys are using, especially with deer season right around the corner. That's why I'm wearing long sleeves. It's a little chilly outside today. I love fall. So let me know what you guys are using. What's your experiences? And for those of you that have been asking, uh, we have got a couple of these. So it's coming down the pike, guys. But anyway, from Suburban Hunt 365, I'm DJ. We'll catch you on the next one.